When I was a kid, I thought every flower was turned upward toward the sky. And in a child's mind, that makes sense. Like nets made of petals faced upward towards the endless sky, catching every single bit of sunshine it possibly can throughout its short 24-hour day. However, I never related to flowers in this way. In many ways, I did. They were sweet and quiet, yet bright and vibrant, easily stepped on or over, plucked and moved out of the way, constantly swaying in the background. I never, for a moment in my short life, believed that my right to the sun was inherent. That I was entitled to the light no matter where I was planted. Many people in my time had a hand in making me believe that the sun was out of my reach. Flowers, favorable to the ever-turning earth in a way that to me was unimaginable. I started thinking about flowers again recently. After purging my head of make-believe, filling it with the question of what I want to be instead of who I want to be, I started thinking about me. I started to ask in a field full of beauty, who would I be? And as quickly as the sun goes away, I had thought of the mascot of day, the humble sunflower. This confused me until I thought about who I used to be. I thought back to being a kid and flowers and how deeply rooted I seem to be in nothing but tragedy. I learned a new word recently. Heliotropism is the Greek word for the dance a flower makes in order to follow the sun throughout the day. And the sunflower is the greatest dancer of them all. No matter how deeply rooted in this earth, no matter how much shadow falls upon the sunflower, it does not think for a moment that the sun has some divine obligation to turn towards it. It instead turns itself towards the sun in a group of trillions of living beings that inhabit this floating marble in space, it is only one. It understands that you are only as tall as you are able to grow, and I think there's enough light to go around, you know. <laughs>